and welcome. It's still a cube. I'm doing something a little different today. I am going to do the kind of bloom effect on the top of this jewelry box. It was, um, it's like an MDF wooden box I bought. It's got the, I took off all the um, hinges and things with my little precision screwdriver set. So it's really good because it has the tiny little screwdrivers in that you can undo these tiny little screw, can't even see them, I needed my glasses. So that was on top of there. So it's gonna open like that. I'm not gonna paint, I'm gonna just paint this part plain. I mean, I can even leave it just the timber and maybe just give it a coat of varnish, which would be nice, but it's the top that I'm going to paint. So I'm going to paint this love heart and I'm going to, um, do it in the the bloom recipe i have the paints already mixed the the well the pigments mixed and i've had them all here like a fair number of weeks now and i'm just trying to get through them and this is the only bit of paint that i have left of the because this is the proper shelly bloom recipe so that was the base paint um, that I used in Australia for the for the bloom effect. So this is all I have left and I'm really hoping that there's enough paint here to do this little top. So what I want to do first of all is just spread the paint so I get an even coverage. I suppose I should have maybe I sure maybe I should have taped the sides. Oh my goodness, maybe I should have taped the sides. Oh, Jilly, you silly, Jilly. I should have taped the sides. There's me getting away with myself. I thought I was all prepared, but I should have taped the sides because I wanted to leave the sides plain. But anyway, I'll just push on with it now I've started. So I've done it now. Things always happen for a reason, I guess. So it might be that the it looks lovely dribbled down the side. If not, that's not a problem. Everything can be fixed. So I sort of just put that bit of paint on there and then I'm going to layer a good layer of this around the place. But now I'll start to put my pigments. So I'd have to go back through. I have no idea of what I actually used on these. So this is um, gonna be a surprise because I don't know what pigments I used. And I've got a whole box full there. So I, I cannot, I wasn't good at keeping records of what I've already mixed. I just merrily went along. So that's like a purpley, something key and the other one's like a yellowy gold and this one i think this one was oh, it's a nice green <laughs> yes i'm hopeless at doing that no people say what colors was it this one i do have here and i do know this this is hot cinnamon it was a primary elements color art one and I thought it was brown, but it turned out really beautifully sparkling reds. So I'm gonna put some of that in. I'm gonna put, this is one of them diamond, I think this was a little piggies, like a really sparkling one, <laughs> a translucent one, I think. Um, and then I might just finish off this bit. Oh no, there's more than a bit in there this lovely blue and then I really might add a bit more of that probably got way too much but look at the I mixed up what I thought was a small amount of pigment for one piece that I did then it ended up just going and going and going I just added a little bit of water each time I've got them out because they went a little bit thicker I don't know if that's, I should have done that, but I did. And they seem to have come out beautifully. I'll show you some of my finished resin pieces. Now, I am gonna just use my Amsterdam Black. 
Now I've probably really ruined that because I've it's like gone all over the Amsterdam black with Australian Floetrol. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna blow it out with my little blower with this one. So let's give this a go. Colors. Let me see if I can just make that center go a bit. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? Now I need to spin it. Could do with it going a bit further over there, couldn't I? Oh, I'm just going to spin it. Oh. oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Colours, beautiful. Now I wish I put a lot more paint on so it would have gone all the way over the edge. But that is gorgeous. I'm going to bring you down to have a look at that. Oh, so lovely. So look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. It is for me. I know there's lots of others that do absolutely much much better than this but being so i am a late bloomer using all the proper products i used to well i still do my own pseudo blooms but this certainly does um get you hooked i'm loving that loving that i wanted it to go right see if it went right over the edges i would be really happy with that but there's a fair bit missing. Maybe I can spin it a bit more. But that's going to make a gorgeous a jewellery box top on that little heart when it's resined. These are just a few of the pieces that I've been testing this week with the, that uh, recipe and using pigments. This was just on a little 20 by 25. But after I resined it, and I put dragonfly glaze in my resin. Look at the sparkle. So that was just another test. There is videos out. So these are the ones I've used. Then this one I did, this was on MDF placemat. And then look at the colors that come up in that. So that's lovely. Could use it as a trivet. You could still use it as a wall hanging. It's dragonfly, a uh, dragon skin, my husband called it, definitely. So that one's beautiful too. So I really hope you enjoyed that quick little video of that really pretty little piece. I will definitely show you it when it's resined and put together on the box. And there'll be a little jewellery box. Okay, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. If you could please um, drop me a like and a comment, it helps me, but it costs you guys nothing. So until tomorrow, bye for now. This is finished, dried, and it's got a coat of spark on the resin on it. Or maybe it was only a thin coat. You see, it hasn't quite grabbed the edges of the box. But the sparkle is gorgeous so I may give it another coat but certainly beautiful so I'll finish off the rest of the box mm. I'm just gonna paint it in a plain color and um, put this lid on it and it'll be all beautiful get down you naughty girl ah you naughty okay that's all for today I'm here.